All the boy, all the boy. Welcome to tonight's edition of the Business Beat, sponsored by Royal Fidelity. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Altaviz Mining. Let's take a look at what's making business news today. The local daily reporting today that American Eagle, a subsidiary of American Airlines, is reportedly terminating the lease of nine turbo air props flying out of Miami. Tourism and Aviation Minister Vincent Vanderpool Wallace was quoted in the article that a meeting is set for next week with the troubled airline to discuss a whole series of matters. From Grand Bahama, some 60 new jobs expected to be created on that island with the opening of the restaurant's Senior Frogs and Sparkies at the Lucayan Harbor. Grand Bahama Port Authority President Ian Roll telling the local daily that the new investments should put a dent in Grand Bahama's 21% unemployment rate. From the International Business Beat, rating agency Standard & Poor's has classified Greek debt as a, quote, selective default following the deal it made with creditors to reduce its debts. S&P says the terms of that deal triggered the latest downgrade. In regional business, the federal government of St. Kitts and Nevis has announced a debt exchange offer of certain bonds and commercial bank loans owed by the federal government, the Nevis Island Administration, and public enterprises in return for new United States dollar and Eastern Caribbean dollar denominated bonds to be issued by the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Remember, you can send us an email or join us on www.znsbahamas.com or become our friend on ZNS's official Facebook page. And that will end tonight's edition of the Business Beat, sponsored by Royal Fidelity. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Alta Beast Money.